Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at Terra Mitica in Benidorm, Spain. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our vlogs from Port Aventura World. After that, we actually made our way to Barcelona Airport and flew into Alicante and made our way here to Benidorm, didn't we? Oh, it's been fantastic so far. We've really enjoyed it. Yeah, we have indeed. Lovely weather, which has been great too. And of course, yeah, we're at a park today that we've never covered before here on Theme Park Worldwide, Terra Mitica. In terms of how we got here, um, and from Benidorm itself, we just jumped in a taxi. It was just over 10 euros for that, so nice and convenient. However, there is bus services that run um, from the center. However, we thought that it'd be not much easier just getting in a taxi today, because we looked at the buses. It said it took 40 minutes. It's literally a 10 minute ride in a cab, wasn't it's it? It's one of them. It's just a lot quicker to just come in a taxi than wait around on a bus. Yeah, definitely. But so now, looking forward to the park, Charlotte? Yeah, so we've got three operating coasts at this park, and one of them is a Vekoma SLC. Yeah, uh, we've got a Zack Spin as well, uh, the other one, and a Junior a coaster. So yeah, coaster wise, nothing spectacular. However, there's some really nice theming here at this park throughout five different themed areas. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to covering it here on Theme Park Worldwide. And here's a look at the entrance to the park. As you can see, we're only 20 minutes to go until opening. And yeah, it's pretty quiet down here. Few more people starting to arrive. But yeah, considering it's summer, not very busy at all. And yeah, they actually have a very limited operating calendar here. Got to be one of the shortest theme park calendars of the year. They only operate in June, July, August, and the first 10 days there of September. And here's a look at the Terra Mitica park map as of 2023. The park's split into those five different themed areas. You've got Egypt, Greece, Rome, Iberia, and the islands. And as you can see, you've got all the nice water features around here. There is some water rides at this park. Uh, there's some indoor attractions. You've got like the observation tower just here. There's a gyro swing off there too. Um, up the top here, you've got a star flyer and also a drop tower over there too, on with some other flat rides throughout the park. So yeah, uh, quite a big park here from what I can remember. And uh, yeah, lots of fantastic theming. So yeah, we're gonna make our way in shortly. And yeah, park hours 10.30, through until nine o'clock this evening. And we're now inside the park. We've got some characters out this morning just here. <laughs> there we go. Here's a look at the big Egyptian entrance area when you come through the turnstiles. Nice fountain package down here too. And like I said, there's some very impressive theming at this park as well. Fantastic. Now the park also features quite a few different shows, so be sure to catch some of those throughout the day. New show for 2023 there, in the evening. And yeah, you kind of walk in, you've got this lovely lagoon area, which is very nice. It's very immersive here with the theming. It's like you look over at the back there as well, you've got the mountain backdrop, which is absolutely beautiful. And the big Terra Mitica sign up there on the side of the mountain. Reminds me of Hollywood, with <laughs> the Hollywood sign just up there. And yeah, in front of it, you can just see a wooden roller coaster. That's been standing but not operating for quite some time, but we'll get up closer to that and show you it a little bit later on. It's been closed for quite a few years. And it's a very nice entrance area when you come in here. The park's got some beautiful theming and decoration, and also all the landscaping as well. I love all the rocks and the waterfalls just over there. We make our gradual ascent up the hill just here. Very pretty. And of course, because of its location here next to the mountains, it is quite a hilly park. It's worth pointing that out if you're coming to visit. Yeah, we're leaving Egypt now, making our way into Greece just here. And yeah, there's a big dart ride just up here. So we're gonna go and give that a go now. Yeah, the mountains are the backdrop. Fantastic. Love all the theme music as well around the park. Now the dart ride opened here with the park 23 years ago in year 2000. Yeah, it's an interactive dart ride built by ETF Ride Systems and the theming was done by Sally Dark Rise. And yeah, here's a look at the sign for it just here. Al Labyrintho del Minotauro. We're looking forward to this. Nice little one, that. that's oh. funny. <laughs> Let's go give it a go. And here it is, the only ones here. Let's go and ride.
I've got to say that was absolutely spectacular brilliant dark ride and yeah just wanted to show you another look here at the station very heavily themed that's the key to this park and well, that ride was brilliant let's go outside and we'll talk more about it the scale of that ride is absolutely fantastic not only have you got the trackless ride system but the theming throughout is awesome and some large scale sets and also 52 animatronics throughout that ride as well. I didn't know what to expect with that dark ride, but it was absolutely fantastic. Like, I started with the shooting, but I just put the gun down and just took in all the theming that was going around there. You really doesn't need to be an interactive shooting it dark ride, does it? it like, does you don't want to be shooting on that, you just want to go around and take in the experience of that. <laughs> and so I just suggest leaving the gun in there <laughs> and just sitting there and enjoying it all. Of course, some of the scenes didn't come out the best on the camera because they were quite dark, but that's the beauty of a dark ride. They've got the lighting perfect in there. Not so much for filming, but of course when you're in there how immersive it is sometimes they can be too lit up can't the dark rise and you can see the workings and things in there you really can't it's one of the best dark rides in Europe that is I think that was as absolutely brilliant it's like some scenes normally you only get like one animatronic and some of them there was just multiple coming from all angles yeah and really high up as well one of my favourite scenes in there of course was at the end when you get to see uh, the Minotaur himself uh, half bull half man and then of course yeah you're in there and it was kind of like the stretching room from the haunted mansion in a weird way kind of felt that way as Turn around, mean? and then you had like all the scenes around, um, and it was all lit up. And then there was the animatronic. It was very well done. Loved that was it. lots of great audio in there. Absolutely fantastic ride that is. Now, as much as the coaster lineup really isn't up to much at this park, I'm so pleased that we flew in for that dark ride alone. It was definitely worth it. And yeah, we're going on Titanic just here now. I'm not too sure if that's how you pronounce it. You know me, my pronunciations. But yeah, this is the biggest coaster here, and it's one of our favourites for Coma SLC. I joke, of course. Yeah, I'm um, not a massive draw for the SLC. So yeah, just a standard layout with this one, five inversions on here and operating here since 2003. It looks like Infusion at Pleasure Beach. It does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in the UK, there you go, just because of the uh, track core there. Yeah, let's make our way down and we'll give it a go. It's absolutely deserted. And we've got a dispatch climbing up the lift hill. Something that this park doesn't seem to have is lots of shade. However, they've got that epic dark ride, so I guess you can just keep going around on there. Really needs a repaint, this does. 
I believe it used to be in a different area of the park actually quite a few years ago what I remember and then it got relocated also it probably got repainted great view of Benidorm over there in the distance though and there is the observation tower over there too so we'll jump on that in a bit it's quite a reasonably sized park actually it doesn't look that big when you're coming up to it but maybe because you've got the huge mountains behind what a view SLC otherwise by the sound of them screams Woo! this is where it normally gets you oh <laughs> and it's the brakes oh to be honest as far as slc goes like the standard layout i don't think that was too bad i've been on much worse than that infusion rides worse in my opinion is there from the SLC and of course yeah I'm not a huge fan of that coaster type not many people are especially the standard layouts normally they're unbearably rough this one actually wasn't too bad I thought it was quite bearable compared to some of the others that I've done yeah like infusion's much worse than that but you may have heard screams <laughs> that is because because I've got shorts on my legs kept sticking to the seat so it kept like pulling them as I went around so it was a bit uncomfortable yeah like burning the legs yeah, a little bit was, on there yeah. a bit like rope burn style that's what it felt thing, like. yeah <laughs> but so no, the ride wasn't too jolty uh, of course it's nothing special I mean, SLC really, you go to a park uh, and that's just having one ride on it yeah. and then you're done, aren't you, really? And um, this is the big signature ride here. You've got this, the Zack Spin and the Junior Coaster, and that's it. Of course, the main event, which was the wooden coaster up on the mountain, been SBNO for a long time. Oh, well, next then, going on Syncope just here. I really don't know how to pronounce it. Well, yeah, very well themed around here. That is the key to this park. Like, they did a great job with all the theming. You coming on, Charlotte? I'm going to sit in the shade. You sit in the shade. Bye bye. <laughs> There we go. Let's go and give this a ride, see what it's like. <laughs> and here we go then, on the gyro swing. I'll tell you what, it's a nice breeze on here. And some awesome views of Benidorm itself. And actually over on our second channel, The Sandbrook Adventures, we're going to be filming a bit of a tour around Benidorm seeking out some of them filming locations from the TV series. Of course, they did also feature Terra Mythica on there as well. Used to love that. Great TV series. Hey. Takes a while to get going, but we're off. Woo. Oh, that breeze is so good. Lovely. Woo! Oh, yes. <laughs> that water ride looks very appealing next door. Woo! Woo! Wow, you feel a lot higher than you actually are because you're up on the hills and also with the mountains next to you there as well. The setting is lovely here. Let's come to the end of the ride. That was all right. Yeah. Views made it. Well, they didn't have loads of force that, but the views certainly made up for it. And yeah, it felt much higher on there than it actually was because of the location. And yeah, I love the stunning backdrop to this park. And this is great because you've got like all the fake rock work down here and then the real rocks behind it up there. And yeah, gonna give this a go now. Nice water ride. You got the small drop just over there on the right. And then a little bit of a bigger one off there to the left. And yeah, it looks walk on as well. 
That's the thing, you know it's a quiet day when water rides a walk on on a hot day like this in Spain. And this is called La Furia de Triton here with another awesome sign down here at the entrance. Not just a flat plastic sign, like, look at that, proper stuff. And again, just me on this one as we make our way into some caves just here. Could you do me some audio playing around here just to add to the atmosphere? Looks like that was definitely a waterfall at one point over there too. You can tell from the different colour on the rocks. Very impressive though around here. Here we go, get ready for the smaller drop. Running around into it just here. Great view of Benny Dom. Oh! Hey! Woo! Oh! A light sprinkle here at the back. Light sprinkle. And there's another view of the standing but not operating wooden coaster up there on the hillside. Yeah, we'll see that closer shortly. More fantastic rock work all the way around here. Oh, here we go! Look at that skyline! Oh, going quite wet well down there at the back. I am dripping. Nice and refreshing though. Oh, that was good. That was a good fun ride that was. You can't beat a big water ride like that in the lovely Spanish sunshine. Fantastic. And yeah, with that ride, it could have done with some audio around just to add to the experience. It was very quiet as you were going around. Uh, or maybe even some storytelling. But still, it's a water ride. People want to get wet. Everyone was enjoying it. And yeah, I did too. I'm quite wet from that, Charlotte. I know, you do look quite wet. <laughs> You've got to make up for it though, going on the other water ride. I will do. I'm going to go on the other ones. Hey, looking forward to that. We've got the log flume and also a rapids coming up. Well, we actually just made our way back down to the entrance of the park. Yeah, just had hot dog and fries, and it was around €12.50 Euros for the meal down here. Got this nice boat ride here on the lagoon. We'll be sure to give that a ride this afternoon. But yeah, I think we're going to go on the observation tower just here now. Beautiful backdrop, isn't it, for this park? Look at that view from here. And yeah, all the buildings are really nicely painted up. And yeah, the maintenance of the park is great. Like, when you walk around, it doesn't look run down at all. It's really nice. I just hope they can get the woody back open at some point in the future. It'd be nice to see. And yeah, we'll see it a little bit closer when we head up there. And we'll also get a great view from up here on the observation tower. So yeah, let's go and check this out up here. And yeah, this is the huge Egyptian area all the way around here, which is beautiful. And here we are making our way up. Yeah, you've also got the on-site hotel here at Town Mexico, the Grand Luxor. You said it looks quite nice, doesn't it? And there's a view of Benidorm itself just over there. Yeah, like I say, head over to the Sandbrook Adventures. Mm. Very soon, in the next few days, there's going to be a video coming up. Taking you for a bit of a tour around Benidorm, including some of them filming locations. Massive arena there, that looks like it's not operated for quite some time. With the big boat over at the back there. It looks like it's on a, a track system that would come round. Yeah, we're going to be heading down to this other side of the park where we've not been yet. It's quite a large park here. You can tell when this park opened it was set up for big expansion and that never really happened, unfortunately. Yeah, that boat ride looks like it goes all the way round on the lake just here, around the little rivers at the back. And then you've got Magnus Colossus just over at the back there. That wooden coaster which looks stunning up there on the hillside. It's not actually operated since 2016. Yeah, so eight years have been standing but not operating now. Yeah, we've got this log flume to get on down here, which looks fantastic. Yeah, this shows you how quiet it is. Look at how big the car park is over there. And there's only one section filled of like six sections, seven sections over there. Hotel looks good though. Down there at the bottom. Yeah, what a view. Looking over Benidorm. Pretty spectacular view from up there. However, we didn't get to take it in for as long as I would have liked there. It was just really short. We sort of did one rotation and then came back down again. Yeah, we barely stopped at the top, didn't yeah, we? we did Straight it. back down. More gorgeous buildings around here. And yeah, it's all painted up really nicely, even though you can tell some of these buildings probably haven't been used for anything for a while. Uh, at least they make them look nice still from the front, which is good, like the pyramid over on the other side of the water. And yeah, we're going to make our way down to the next section of the park now. 
Crossing over the bridge just here now with more beautiful rock work into the island. It's quite a nice building, like a fortress down here in the middle. Let's go and see what we've got around here. Right then viewers, get your catalogues at the ready. We're going on Rapidos to Argos just here now. Are you ready? That is so funny. <laughs> I think it's Argos, but still. That was the joke. <laughs> Let's go and give this a go. Yeah, Rapid Ride. There's lots of little details to see in this part. Like everything's being thought about here. Oh, look at that. Nice view. Got the star flyer up there. There's also an intervening drop tower for us to get on. Firstly, we got on Argos, Rapids. Oh, it's our first queue of the day. Only a small one, just around this corner by the looks of it. Let's go and ride. And we wait about five minutes and we're off. Oh, Whee! Oh, oh, very low sides on this one. So yeah, we could get pretty wet. We've seen some people looking soaked, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. Coming in. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there is, yeah, not that much weight in the boat. Whee! I don't really know why they painted the side of the trough blue it sticks out of it like that i would have gone for more of a brown or something like that really nice trees oh look at this it's getting a bit vicious down here choppy <laughs> oh i think it was a lot oh if there was a lot of weight in the boat then we'd get it that got me got me sure hey, i think there's some uh, waterfalls coming yeah. up down here as well there they come Hey! <laughs> oh, 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 look at these! Oh, blimey! Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> How's your back? Don't <laughs> oh. 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 Right. My back is absolutely sick! Whee! Spin it now! Whee! Spin it! Watch oh. out! Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is great! What rapids! Right! Them waterfalls are fantastic! <laughs> God, I never spun so much oh on rapids! Oh my God, wait till you see my back! Uh, is it bad? It's bad! It's cooled you down about though, isn't it? It's bad! That's what you want, a bit of a cool down. Bit round number two now. Oh, it's still going? Yeah, that's not the end yet, Sean. that was the end? Yeah. I'm already soaked! We've got some more fun coming up oh. into this tunnel. Rapids can do with a bit of TLC around the, the side here, painting up. Literally, that came over me like a tiger. Look at this! Oh! Oh, we're in his mouth! Ah! <laughs> what is going on? Skeletons? What's that over there? Oh, it's a goat, I think, Charlotte. It's a goat. I didn't even see it. Big goat. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll soon dry off today, though, yeah. Charlotte. Oh, no. I'm coming in here quick. We have got the log flume oh. coming up, though. Whoa! I tell you what, it gets spinning, this does. does. Oh, oh, I think that's it. Round to the finale lift hill. That was a good ride, I enjoyed I that. I am so, my back is dripping. <laughs> we drive by the time we got this lift. Yeah, that was nice, that. And here she comes. Come on, man, show us your back. You might not be able to see it on the Oh, yeah, you do look quite wet. I am so. But luckily, it's a nice hot day for you. If it's like sweat or water mixed uh, all together. <laughs> yeah, we are very sweaty this trip, very hot. Yeah, what I do like about this, nice clean water on there too. Don't mind getting soaked when the water's nice and clean. Oh. Yeah, it was a good ride that. You got the big Trojan horse just over here too. Reminds me of Troy at Overland. Yeah, I think that's a show venue. Looking at the times outside there. More beautiful props to look at and nice theming around here. Yeah, there's the star flyer up there on the hillside. Oh, it is so hot. Bet you dry now. Yeah. Pretty much bone dry. <laughs> Talking yeah. of bones, well, who remembers the bone shaker at Alton Towers? I never got to go on it because I never got to the right height before it got removed. Oh, well, they've got one just over here. I think we'll go and give this a ride now. Why not? Another flat ride, the old bone shaker. This isn't the one that used to be at Alton Towers. But yeah, it was this sort of ride. Great fun. Let's go on. we go and yeah because of the location of this park even a smaller flat ride like this feels so much higher than it actually is not one would be scared of heights 
but luckily we're not so we're all right <laughs> nice carousel just down there the mythos so you've never done one of these before charlotte i've never been on one before so it's nice to actually get on one yeah one of these would be great again at alton towers yeah. to be honest themed in any theme flats will do at towers to be honest <laughs> You like some weird kind of sensations on this. A bit like sideways floats around, it feels really weird. Whee. See, we've got that junior coach to get on just over there. We'll give that a go shortly. And yeah, we'll definitely catch some of the entertainment this afternoon as well. Big part of this park shows that they've got on offer. We've got quite a few different shows. Unfortunately, it was a bit lackluster that. It didn't ride anywhere near as good as the old bone shaker at Alton Towers. Yeah, it wasn't amazing, was it? That? It was okay, but the side was just really short. I thought we were getting more and then it just stopped. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were getting a lot more on there, but uh, we didn't. There we go. Right, continue on around this way. Tell you what though, we're getting lots of rides in, which is good. We're hardly waiting for anything. Biggest wait so far was about three minutes for the rapids. <laughs> Well, this is like a good ride, Charlotte, all the way down yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice bit of theme in just here. With the waterfalls all the way down. And the big kind of fortress at the top in Rome. So we're making our way now over onto Inferno just here, which is a 2007 Intamin Zack Spin. Hey, we either love or hate these. And for me, I do quite enjoy them, you know. Like, it looks very quiet, hardly anybody on there. Yeah, let's go and give this a go. We know Charlotte loves a good Zach spin as well, don't you, they Charlotte? Are absolutely disgusting. But this one looks quite small, so it might not be too bad. Yeah, it's a bit smaller than insane at Grown Alone. So yeah, let's go and give this a go. Right then, here we go on Inferno. Oh! Not to be confused with Nemesis Inferno, <laughs> thought part. One of the smaller models, Zack Spin. There's the drop tower over there, looks well themed. You all right, Charlotte? No, I'm not. <laughs> Looking forward to that. In the heat, this gonna be Yeah, it's not gonna be great. Let's go. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. Zach spin. Hey! <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was all right, wasn't it? That. that wasn't yeah, smaller model. Oh, my feet are literally touching the floor oh, down there. That wasn't too bad. Look at this. I'm walking on the floor. <laughs> oh, oh, that's it. We're getting off here. Oh no! There we go. Just straightening us up. We're on the brake run here, aren't we? Oh, blimey! That's it. Back up. <laughs> Can you imagine that back home? All right, footage there from our ride on Inferno. How did you find that one? It wasn't the worst one I've been. I'm still not a fan of one because it was short. We didn't get much spinning, which was great. Yeah, I thought it was all right, that one. It was quite smooth, actually, which is good. And yeah, you can see it there again, just behind us. You can see why there's only been a few of those built there around the world. They're not the most exciting rides. A lot of people find them uncomfortable. Um, I do quite like the intensity of them. However, yeah, that one didn't really do that much. It was a little bit boring, I yeah, thought, so actually. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's a smaller one, like the one at Lynn and Mackey that I did a few years ago um, over in Helsinki. Finland. More beautiful fountains and theme structures. I know you got the big Colosseum over there. We're going to be watching this show a little bit later on. See, I look forward to that. I think we're going to have an ice cream now, though, because we are baking. I'm sweating in places today, but I didn't think I could sweat. Oh, we just had a nice tropical fruity ice cream, which was good. And yeah, I'll let you uh, make up your own mind about this statue. I'm not too sure what's going on just there. Oh, blimey. Yeah, we're going to make our way now over here onto this drop tower. Love a good intermin drop tower. Here it comes. And the attraction's called El Vulo del Phoenix. Let's go and ride. Well, this was our biggest queue of the day for the drop tower. Waited about 15 minutes, only one tower operational, unfortunately. Yeah, we're climbing up, and yeah, this is the exact same height as what Apocalypse was at Drayton Manor back in the UK. I do miss Apocalypse. Yeah, 54 meters tall. However, this doesn't look as tall from off-ride 
won't feel taller when you're on it again because of the location where we are there's the pool that they've got here at Terra Mitica. looks very nice down there we're going to check that area out what a great view looking out over the park Whee! oh low brakes as well fantastic that was great thank you gracias well, Apocalypse lives on here at Terra Mitica in Banidorm. How was that for you? I didn't feel the falls until he was like near the bottom, so I started screaming. <laughs> oh, great that was. Yeah, the brakes start so low on them yeah, towers. Me too. Oh, I love a good intervening drop tower. Really good fun that was. Continuing on then in the Roman themed area of the park, and yeah, another look at Magnus Colossus just up there, that SBNO wooden coaster. And yeah, we'll get a great view of that from up here on the Starfire attractions. Yeah, let's go on here now. And this attraction's called Tornado. In fact, it actually says it right up there on the top as well. Let's go and rise, Tornado. What a stunning backdrop for this park. And lifting up just here on Tornado. Oh, what a view already. When are you just getting started? Oh, look at this. Look at this breeze. Oh, the breeze is nice. Oh, look at Magnus Colossus there. I tell you what, it would make a stunning RMC that would. Oh yeah. Woo! This is what we want, Charlotte. This breeze. Wow. Wow. I will definitely be having a bit of a paddle in them pools later over there. Woo! Looks really appealing. Well, yeah, it doesn't look in that bad of a state, the Woody. Clearly they've not got the money that they need to fix it, but yeah, it's a shame. Oh. Can we just stay up here all day, Charlotte? This would be yeah. ideal. Yeah. Yeah, we've still got a log flume coming up. Just over there. Oh. Gorgeous. What a fantastic view. With all the pools, I think some of that's new for this year as well. They used to have another big kind of rapid style ride here. I believe it's closed now. But yeah, I do remember that. Woo! Yeah, what a spectacular view of that. What a shame. Look at the double down drop on it. It was never the smoothest ride, however, you could make a fantastic RMC and it'd be a big draw for this park. Oh, the views are wonderful up there and the breeze was even nicer. Very much enjoyed that. Could have stayed up there for a longer time though. <laughs> Two minutes wasn't enough. They've got the right idea, dipping the head in. Oh, it's so hot here today. Yeah, let's go and have a little look at this, shall we? So yeah, here's a look at all the queue line and the station area for Magnus Colossus. However, as it just says on the sign, Colossus, but yeah, I believe that was the full name, built by the Roller Coaster Corporation of America, opened with the park in year 2000. However, it's been SBNO, standing but not operating, since 2016. And yeah, you can see the lift hill just up there, and yeah, it came down a double drop, and yeah, into the rest of the layout that was full of drops and overbanks. Yeah, it's a shame, really, that nothing's happened to this, but the fact they've still got the queue line and, and the signage down here does make me think maybe the ride's got a future at some point. Normally they'd have blocked it off, wouldn't they? So you couldn't see anything, but they have kept it quite open. Yeah, I mean, the park has run into some financial issues in the past. I'd imagine that's why um, it's closed. Wooden roller coasters require a lot of upkeep and maintenance to keep them safe. And uh, yeah, this probably needs more than just a, a partial retract now. It probably needs the whole thing doing. If they'd have spent the money initially on the bits that needed doing, um, then it would have been fine. But yeah, now it's been sat here for like eight years, um, then yeah, it probably needs a hell of a lot of work to get that operational again. Like I say I'd love to see them maybe bring in RMC can you imagine um, up here on the side of the mountain how cool that would, that would be. be absolutely fantastic the layout of this looks brilliant so an RMC would be absolutely phenomenal yeah that's the thing but so yeah comment down below if you got to ride this attraction when it used to operate here um, yeah Colossus here at Terra Mitica SBNO but yeah still standing at the moment let's see what happens in the future you got a few rides for the kids around here too you got a Roman themed frog hopper attraction mini bumper cars just over here too and there's a small ferris wheel down there at the back something this park doesn't have is loads of shade so bear that in mind but you could just keep going around on the dark ride yeah maybe we could do with some more bigger trees like this just so there's a bit more shade in the park 
And back round now into Greece. So yeah, really, we've done a full lap of the park. Obviously, we've not been down and seen that water area yet where all the pools are. Like I said, I believe that's where quite a lot of their recent investments were. So we'll definitely head down there. Yeah, I think this brings us back out by that big water ride that I did earlier on. But yeah, it's kind of like a big circle. But yeah, we've got the log flume to do down here. There's also that boat ride that we saw. And we've got another coaster to get in over here. Oh, I see where we are now. We walked across the path at the bottom of this. That's why we said it'd make a good ride. <laughs> yeah, let's go on this coaster just over here on the right. Family coaster. Yeah, just around here, you've also got Kuka Park. Which is a little kids area, a big play area over there. That's undercover, which is good to see. Yeah, you got the little bouncing attraction there. The dogs bounce up and down. Reminds me of Clifford the Big Red Dog. The face on there. <laughs> I used to love watching that. And you got this little attraction over here too. Small flat ride with the aeroplanes. It kind of goes around on its side. A couple of other smaller rides for the kids down here. And a big waterfall that you can stand under over there as well to cool off. Oh, it's like a baby rocking tug. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one that small. Look at that. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, you know why it is hot here in Benidorm today. There you go. Oh, oh beautiful. Ooh. It's like that scene from Baywatch, that, isn't it? It's not quite as glamorous. And there's the mini rocking tug in action for you. Oh, that was so nice and refreshing. I'll be drying in five minutes. Yeah, you got these aeroplanes in action here too. Pegasus. Right, let's go and do this Zampirla family coaster. Yeah, this one opened again 23 years ago with the park in the year 2000. I'm trying my best with this pronunciation for you today, but it's Alusinakis. I don't have a clue. <laughs> and here it goes. So as you can see, this is actually a hybrid coaster. So it's got the wood, hola. It's got the wooden support structure and the steel track. Yeah, built by Zamperla. 23 years ago, this was Zamperla. And of course, now they're doing the new top field dragster at Cedar Point. Still can't believe it. I'll be filming a, a video showing my thoughts and of course, a bit of an update on the project when we get back. So stay tuned for that. Let's go and ride. And we're off. For a junior coaster, it was all right that. You've got to think, quite a basic layout, but it's mainly for kids, that, isn't it, it was really? It fun, but it was just a few straight sections. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer that, than the little tiny Zamperla junior coasters, like the runaway train at Flamingo Land back in the UK, uh, the one that we did over at Dollywood as well, the tiny ones. Uh, they're really rough and uncomfortable. This was quite smooth, actually. Yeah, I liked it. It doesn't come into the brakes, like, really sharp. Yeah, it was all right, that was. Gonna give Los Icaros a go just here now. Well, we're going to see how this rides. Should be quite a nice view from this way swinger attraction. Hey, and off we go. Get on the way swinger. Go straight into it, nice and fast. 
what a great view. See how we've got the log flume down there coming up shortly. There is a 5D cinema around here too, so we'll check that out. Want to make sure we see everything. But yeah, it's a very well themed farm. Forgotten just how nice it was here, been a long time, and yeah, as you can see, like, even like the toilet blocks are all themed in. Each of the areas are fantastic. And in terms of operations, they're very good too. That's mainly because of how quiet it is. If it was busier, then of course we really had to see how good the operations were. But yeah, I've heard that you know, it's never really anything to worry about because it's always pretty quiet here. Just a nice cry level. It's got an atmosphere, but it's not absolutely heaving or dead either. And yeah, the view is really good from here. I do love Benidorm. We had a great time last night heading to on the beach and yeah, all the different filming locations for the Benidorm TV series and much more over on the Sandbrook Adventures. Some great views there from on the way swing, huh? And yeah, even better. I'm just here on this little balcony looking out over the park. Yes, yeah, so we got that log flume to get on in Egypt. I love the boats, like big pharaohs. Yeah, it's got a backwards drop on there, I believe, too. Anyway, you've got a little pool just down here and you've got the main swimming area over at the back. Oh, that mist is nice. And you've got these little pools there, some little jacuzzis, which is very nice, yeah, that you can just jump in here in the theme park. We're gonna head over into Cine 5D just over here now. I don't know if we'll be able to understand it or not because obviously it'll probably be in Spanish with us being here in Spain. However, it's worth checking out. You never know, it might have some special effects and other bits that are good to see. I mean, the facade's fantastic. So we'll go and check this out, Cine 5D. Here we go, air conditioning. Charlotte's getting on there. Get me coffee. That's it, look at this. Yeah, quite a lot of these. Bit of a bright system going on. It's got a lap bar restraint as well. Let's sit back, relax, enjoy the AC. Oh! Yes, <laughs> we got leg ticklers. Restraints come down. We've got to feel about these little rats or bats. Can't tell. What are they, rats or bats? Oh, oh, oh blimey! Oh, God, it jolted this. Got some mega head time then. <laughs> Air cannons. <laughs> oh! It's really weird. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Funny this is. Only got a little bit of footage because yeah, it's really dark in here. But yeah, the movement of this ride system hilarious. And yeah, the film's really weird. Watching these little rats, I think they are driving cars. Very strange. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna zap us! Ah! Oh, that's refreshing. <laughs> I don't really know what we just watched in there, do you, Charlotte? I don't have a clue. Like, was it a rat? Was it a hamster? Was it a chinchilla? I don't have any idea. <laughs> it was something, some sort of rodent, by the looks of it, because she tried to spray us. But it was good fun. The ride system moved loads in there, yeah, didn't it? It did. That was really funny. <laughs> we were going like this. You know, it's quite funny. But yeah, it was worth going on. Right, we're going to make our way now back into Egypt and going to have a go on this flume ride. And yeah, here's that smaller pool area that I mentioned earlier on. Yeah, we've got the much bigger pools to go and check out. Jacuzzi Spa, it's called down here. Very well themed, and yeah, you just kind of stroll in from the main park. And right opposite there, you've got a Kuka Titty just here, which is a little kid's flume ride. As you can see, just with the small drop over there. We've got the main one just around the corner, I think. Sean! Sean what? What's look up? At this big crocodile. Whoa, look at him down there. Oh, he's massive, isn't he? And here we go, our entrance to the flume ride. Cataratus del Nilo. There we go, like Journey of the Nile or River of the Nile, maybe, something like that. Let's go and give this a go. Seems very quiet, especially for a water ride in the summer in Benidorm. Literally walk on, which is fantastic, especially on a day like this. I thought we might have done a little bit of queuing today for the water rides, but no, nothing. And yeah, I've got to say, some of the nicest boats I've ever seen on a flume ride on this. Like, you don't can't really tell when you're in it, but there's a lot of details all around the side. Nice steam trough and clean water as well. Charlotte's in the back. I am in the back, roasting. <laughs> Ready to ride. Yeah, it's one of the last rides we've got to do in this part, really. Got the little boat ride down on the water. Yeah, I don't think we'll be here through until close at nine o'clock. It's not like they've got anything that's really be rideable other than that dark ride that we did, really. See, so, yeah, I can't see us staying till the end, but I can see why they're open till that time because obviously, you know, a lot of people will probably come in in the afternoon and stay till the evening, but because we came for park opening, we're gonna have everything done probably by just after maybe seven o'clock, something like that. 
and they have lots of re-rideable attractions then of course we'd stay but yeah we've seen everything pretty much this is really nice on here yeah the location of this park is what really makes it and it's really well up kept i mean everything was only the rapids that looked a bit dated in some areas but yeah it looks really good that's funny though isn't it like the water's not running down that drop over there that's the backwards drop i believe with the turntable not a good backwards drop and I'm in the back. Oh, I know, yeah. I'm surprised you went right in the back. <laughs> There's the Luxor. Not in Las Vegas. Whee! Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that was nice, that. So refreshing. I don't know why there's a big cow over there. You're Ben and Jerry's or something, I don't know. Beautiful. Lots of rock work. Reminds me of Chef Ass at Fantasia Land, eh? Chef Oh, there's a cobra over there. Climbing up them now towards the turntable for the backwards truck. Fantastic view across Egypt. In Benidorm. <laughs> Quite big for a backwards drop actually. This could be like Storm Force 10 moment for Charlotte here. She's in the back as well. <laughs> here we go. Here she goes. Hey! <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> oh I was hoping it was gonna come right over then. <laughs> Table. Oh, a bit rattly there. Oh, here's a big drop coming up, Charlotte. Look at this one. God, it wasn't a mess about getting on there, was it? Wait for it. Hey. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was so nice and refreshing. Yeah, there's the boats. Look fantastic, they are. Very nice, I, I enjoyed it. I noticed they put a lot of AstroTurf down here as well. Probably a better idea to make it look a bit greener. Ooh. Fantastic flume. Egyptian themed, I like that a lot. Very good. That was really enjoyable just one big forwards drop and then also the backwards drop and then of course that tiny little one but yeah i enjoyed that and look at the boats fantastic hola have a nice ride <laughs> oh there it's chilled out how was that for you that wasn't too bad actually i didn't get too wet it was just a nice little nice breeze oh i'll tell you what though very nicely themed around here look at this you wouldn't get away with this back home look how low the rocks are just there uh, straight onto the trough there <laughs> yeah i enjoyed that a lot we're going to make our way now down to the other side of Egypt by the big lagoon where we came in. We're going to give that boat a go now. Spectacular lagoon area here, isn't it? It's like it was built for a nighttime show here. Well, maybe it has been in the past. You've got a fountain package there in the middle. Yeah, you can just imagine like the kind of been a nighttime spectacular on here. And yeah, the boat's just pulling in now, so we're going to go and jump on. And as you can see, the boats depart every 30 minutes just there, apart from at five o'clock. Maybe that's when they go for the tea. <laughs> and let's go on a nice relaxing boat trip now. Yeah, I think it's about a 15 minute ride. Taking in the sights and sounds of beautiful Terra Mitica. Great part, very underrated in my opinion. It's a really nice scenic view, isn't it? Lovely breeze from on here as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's that set of waterfalls that we walked through the middle of on the bridge earlier. Comes all the way down here to this lake. 
There's so much rock work throughout this park as well. Lots of different formations. Must have spent a fortune doing all this when the park opened all them years ago. Making our way around into a little harbour area. Another one of the boats over there. All the Mediterranean style buildings. And yeah, this is the part of the park that we've not seen yet. Just down here at the bottom. See so yeah, how you've got like all the pool areas over here. It was very nice and chilled down there. Yeah, we'll take a stroll and see it this afternoon. Through the cave just here and looping back round is that main lagoon at the front of the park. Again, the fantastic view there looking over the skyline of Terra Mitica here in Benidorm. You know, you've seen it a few times throughout the vlog, you might be thinking, what's inside that massive pyramid? Absolutely nothing, that's what's inside there. Yeah, it just says private events outside at the moment. So no attraction or anything like that. <laughs> Well, the boat ride was really nice and relaxing there. I enjoyed that a lot. And it was shaded, there was a nice breeze on there too. Oh, it was lovely on there, nice and relaxing. Look at this though, it is very concerning how quiet it is here at Terra Mitica. I mean, you saw the operating calendar back near the start of the vlog. They're open for like three months a year. And even when they are open, it's so, so quiet here. I mean, look at this. Uh, nobody at all around in this part of the park, uh, which is quite concerning. Uh, it's a beautiful park, it really is. I just don't think it's got the coaster hardware to really draw people in, you know, and that's why a lot of people don't talk about it. Anyway, we're making our way now to go and see a show down in the big Coliseum down there at the bottom of the park. See, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, we got some entertainment going on just over here. Oh, getting all the kids up dressed up in the costumes. Quite interactive. We're making our way into this big Coliseum here to come and see this. Espartaco Ona de Courage. I don't know, what you got there, Charlotte? Oh, absolutely fantastic. Four euros, wasn't it? Yeah, a bit more expensive than Porto Ventura when it comes to food and drink. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this show. Hopefully we'll be able to film it. I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. What a venue in here, it's absolutely massive. I'm sure it didn't used to be covered over. I'm not complaining that it's all indoors now. Get the air conditioning.
the show was on for 45 minutes there and I've got to say what a spectacular performance really enjoyed that firstly the set design of that was brilliant wasn't it oh, the set design was absolutely fantastic like with the curtains keep closing and then different sets was coming on throughout the show yeah that was great I like the big boat near the start and then of course the big kind of Colosseum structure at the end and projection mapping on there as well they also utilized the curtains as projections and to actually change the scenes throughout the show which was great of course it was very powerful with the storyline and the music in there obviously quite hard for us to work out the storyline with it being in Spanish however you can kind of get the gist of what was going on but you know what it was the scale of that show that I thought was really impressive there was like 23 24 performers in there as well I wasn't expecting it to be that many in yeah there. and one of them was a child as well yeah, like, I can't believe that that's really cool yeah you don't often get that in a show do you you know and so it was kind of like um, he was telling a story to her you know yeah, throughout that's really good that is yeah he had the horses in there as well uh, just overall it was a fantastic performance yeah I just love the scale of that big productions at theme parks abroad we could do a lot better with shows back in the UK at theme parks oh look at this just around here an absolutely awesome pool area this is lovely and yeah from looking at the map and some of the signage i believe a lot of this is new for 2023 this is fantastic i mean all the palm trees the buildings charlotte's got the moves over here uh, this is lovely around here a bit of a pool party going on down here this is lush love the atmosphere around here People are loving it around here, it's got a really nice vibe. Even got a pool bar just over there too, with the backdrop of the mountains, fantastic. Well, I feel like they're doing a fantastic job with all of this around here. And yeah, it's definitely bringing more people into the park, which is good to see. Hopefully, we'll be able to reinvest that money in Magnus Colossus up there. It'd be great to get that operating again. And the fact it's still standing here, makes me think maybe it has got a future at some point. It'll cost a bit to get it back open, but it'd be great if you could. What a lovely location though down here. And just around the corner, you've got a few rides for kids here too. Mini chair planes, you've got the teacups. You've got a small pendulum ride for those, of course, that don't want to do the big one at the other side of the park. And the swinging ship there. And you've got the dodgems down here as well. Looks a bit like buffaloes at Port Ventura. you got down here. <laughs> it's a bit more tame though, this one. So we made our way now down to this big Trojan horse that we walked past earlier on. And yeah, we don't know what it is, but it's now open. Yeah, two until quarter past eight. And yeah, as you can see, it's the horse that's actually on fire there. It looks quite busy, but uh, I really don't know. Like, we're gonna go and find out what this is. It has got a sign out the front saying no photos and no video. So is it some sort of walkthrough, maybe a scare attraction? I don't know, he doesn't look that scary. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. So we wait about 30 minutes there for this scare attraction, which is located in all these buildings over here. And yeah, the attraction itself lasted about six, maybe seven minutes. There was about six or seven actors in there, I'd say, as well. And yeah, it was quite well themed. I think it probably used to be something else in there. Um, because yeah, all this building looks like maybe there used to be a ride of some form. We were going around the queue line, possibly. Um, but yeah, the theming was good. Uh, obviously, we didn't understand what was going on, but that kind of added to the fun of it. Really. Well, there was a man who sort of looked like Wicker Man was talking to me, but I don't know what he was on about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was quite well themed. It was all right, you know. I was scared of there, but I just didn't have a clue what was going no, on. No, no, that's kind of the fun of it. I wouldn't really say it was a full-on scare attraction because we had some outdoor areas too, um, like in between these turrets and stuff here, but it was all right. I mean, I wouldn't wait 30 minutes for it again. Um, yeah, it was worth going in to see. Well, it's almost 7 p.m. and yeah, we've seen and done everything we wanted to today here at Terra Mystica. It has been fantastic. I do feel like the opening hours are a little bit longer than they need to be. Uh, the park is really quiet now and it's open for another couple of hours. Uh, they could really save some operating costs there in my opinion. Well, that brings us to the end of our vlog here from Terra Mystica in Benidorm. It really is a beautifully themed park and that's the standout for me here, you know. Like the theming is just all around the park. There's not one place that isn't themed. There's something going on everywhere, which is really nice to see. Yeah, just walking through the different themed lands, you really feel immersed in it. And also, for a park that doesn't get the attendance figures, it's actually really well maintained. You're walking around, we're not seeing bits of theming that are all falling off uh, and that sort of thing. You know, it's really well looked after. It's painted up nice. Um, it's a beautiful park to walk around and love the areas. In terms of rides, it has got a nice variety of attractions. Uh, however, it really does lack in the coaster department here, doesn't it? I think it needs another big standout coaster to be able to draw people in. Because I think with the coaster lineup that they've got, it's not enough to draw people in. It's very weak coaster lineup for a park like this that's so beautiful and quite a large park and with a right wide range of other attractions. The coaster lineup is very poor here. Um, but they need to focus, in my opinion, on either bringing something new in or um, ideally repairing the wooden roller 
Coaster. Yeah, that would be really good so that people can enjoy that one. Yeah, that should definitely be the priority at this park, in my opinion. Uh, he's a bit of a burden up there on the hillside as well. Um, and it wants to be open. I know quite a lot of people have visited and didn't know that it was closed. Um, but yeah, it has been for quite some time, like I've mentioned in this vlog. So that should be the priority. I think the show that we saw today was fantastic. There's lots of other bits of entertainment going on around the park too, which is really good. Uh, the water rides, I enjoyed doing those. The rapids was good fun with the waterfall oh, I there. Oh, absolutely soaked, but I dried out so fast. I think the best out of the three big water rides we did was definitely the log flume though. I really liked the Egyptian theming on there with the boats and the general ride layout was good fun. Uh, but overall, it's a really nice park. Operations have been pretty good. Again, that could possibly change if it got busier. However, we've had no issues here today. We've got loads of rides, no, done, haven't we? we've just been walking on rides, which is fantastic. Of course, the main standout ride here for me and my favourite was definitely the dark ride. I think that's absolutely fantastic, oh, isn't it? Oh, that was brilliant. Like, I really didn't expect that from a park like this to have a dark ride like that that was so well themed and so much going on in there as well. Absolutely brilliant ride. That's definitely the best ride here at this park. Uh, but now I do think the addition of the swimming pools is really nice down there. I kind of hope they don't put loads of big slides and that sort of thing in. I think it'll start taking away from the themed aspect of the park. However, I do like the pools down there and how it's doing like a Spanish kind of Mediterranean style area, um, which is really nice too. Oh, uh, but it's been great here. We've got loads of POVs today. Overall, fantastic visit here to Terra Mitica. And I would definitely recommend a visit if you come into Benidorm. Uh, just check the opening times, because like I say, it's a very limited season here at this park. Anyway, we're going to enjoy some more time in Benidorm. Head over to the Sandbrook Adventures. We'll have an action-packed vlog coming up soon, um, showing you lots of the different sites. And of course, next, we're going to be making our way to Madrid and to visit Park Warner for the brand new Intamin Blitz coaster, uh, Gotham City Escape. We're looking forward to that, oh, aren't we? I'm so excited to ride that. It's going to be hot there, though. Oh we're talking God, 40 degrees C there. That is going to be the hottest I've ever been in. It's going to be a scorcher. Uh, we're in Terra Mitica. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next vlog.